So these are my top 10 to 12 apps that I use anytime I get an Android smartphone. So my very first application that I always install in case it is not a pure Nexus or a pure Android experience is the Google Now Launcher. The Google Now Launcher, it sort of like you could swipe in from the left and when you swipe in it sort of gives you all of these really cool contextual updates about your weather. Uh, if you use public transit, your public transit information would be there, your calendar events. It's basically that it's really cool notification system also as well you could say from anywhere in the phone okay Google and then you could search for whatever you want I love to keep up with the weather especially in Canada the weather just changes uh, pretty crazy from one moment to the other so I have two applications so the first one is called BBC weather um, you may not be able to get BBC weather depending on where you live but I will put an APK down below for you to download and install it but a good alternative to the BBC weather is the uh, MSN Weather, which I love this app. It's nice and clean, the UI is very simple. One of the most important things to know about the Weather app that I'm mentioning here is that it's very identical or almost very similar to the BlackBerry Playbooks Weather app or the BlackBerry 10 Weather app, which I absolutely love. The very next app that I install on any Android device is called Ola or Hola Unblocker. Um, the reason that I use this app is so that I could access or gain access to basically stuff that's blocked in Canada. And like, you know, you could get the US Netflix or you could watch videos uh, on BBC from the UK by simply using this app. And also as well, it does run in the background, so be sure you want to go in and actually kill the app. And to actually kill the app, you long press, go into app information, and then you could just force stop uh, the application from running. The very next application for the Prib that I highly recommend you get this is called the File Manager. So there are a couple file managers that I'm going to show you. There's Astro File Manager and then there's another one called just File Manager. Um, I use both um, the File Manager application. Um, it's really nicely laid out. Like I love how it's just laid out really simple. You know you could just get to where you want to go to. I prefer using the Astro File Manager personally. Um, and the reason is, is sometimes you could actually update or you could basically set up your uh, online drives such as your Dropbox, your OneDrive or your Google Drive account or your Box account and you could access all of these inside of Astro File Manager and I think it's one of the best file managers out there. The very next app that I want to mention to you guys is Office Mobile. Um, it's free. It basically allows you to open documents for Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It's basically like having uh basically like a super application that opens basically any sort of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. And the reason I mentioned this app is because you, sometimes you could download, you could individually download these apps as well, by the way. They're all available for Android, a full version. But I just use Office Mobile because it takes up a lot less space. So now you're probably wondering, uh, what application do I use to listen to music? And that is either Apple Music or Spotify. Both of these applications are really powerful and I use Spotify a lot more. The reason that I use Spotify quite a lot is because it allows you to basically stream all of your music anywhere you go. The very next application that I want to show you is Adobe Acrobat. Basically it's three applications actually um, and each one has a different purpose. So for PDFs, Adobe Acrobat, that's like a no-brainer, you should absolutely download that. Um, Secondly, there's Adobe eSign Manager and Adobe Fill and Sign Manager. So let's say you get mailed a document that you need to basically sign off on or you need to fill in certain documents for your passport form. Um, so you use Adobe Fill and Sign. For, so let's say you're filling in your Canadian passport application form. You just use that application. You type inside of like the boxes and it works. So we all know that sending stuff over the internet or over your data plan can get pretty expensive. So sometimes you might want to convert that file to a lower quality file. Uh, so let's say you want to convert a video. So all you got to do is let's say you convert it from whatever form you want to, you know, I don't know, a simple form that's a lot more efficient like a MKV file or a FLV file um, that's a lot smaller in size. So definitely this application, it's called basically All File Converter. It does have like ads on it as most Android applications do have but uh, I absolutely love this file because it's 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 simple 
it basically allows you to do many things and by doing these many things it's very fast it's very efficient and it doesn't draw a lot of your battery or battery juice uh, when it's doing it and I absolutely love this application it's definitely one for the book so my number nine or the very next application that I want to show you boys and girls today and I'll actually demo it a little bit for you guys it's just a sell just to sell the app um, so it's, it's called office lens it's by Microsoft themselves and what this application does is take a picture of like let's say a receipt or you want to file or you know you need to claim expenses for your business trip or you need to claim expenses for your job or personal stuff or insurance this is a really cool application that short that sort of takes your phone camera scans the, the picture and then sort of takes the, the information from the picture and put it on a really nice document really well written and when I take the picture um, what you get is basically how it looks. You can see how it is. You could crop that information out and then you could just save that. And now the beauty of this is if let's say if you have a Hotmail or a live account with Microsoft, um, this basically say you could save it on the phone or you could save it to uh, OneDrive or OneNote. So I absolutely love this application. Like I said, um, the beauty of this application or where this application absolutely wins is the fact that it's done by Microsoft and it's very, very, very focused on uh, basically getting the best image possible. And then you could create a database on your cloud storage, whatever you have, your option. And then the beauty of that is you basically have the file online, so it's just so much easier for you to send. You don't have to worry about losing receipts. So we all know that the cameras today and you know the, the imaging processing and the sensor is really good, but sometimes you don't want that beautiful image. Sometimes you want to get that, you know, that, that old age sort of grunty sort of like you know it, I don't want to say hipster because I might offend a few people but um, so you want to get that look right so you could use a VHS look where you could get like the lines running across it or you could go into black and white or you could uh, go into the sepia or vintage or 1950s look with the grainy film I absolutely love this that's how it looks you can see the grainy film there or you can use the 1930s look like I said, um, it's pretty cool, and the beauty of this is it's sort of like it creates this really uh, this really amazing image that you can use to upload to your Facebook or Twitter, and you can probably get a bunch of likes for it. The problem with this application is that it costs a little bit of money, so if you're not a person who spends money on apps, um, you could get this app for free, and I think you all know how to do that, but th this is an absolutely lovely app and I use it for creativity purposes. Highly recommend you use it for creativity purposes. You should use this as basically everyone right now goes to get really clear or crisp image that's clean but no one's really going back to that grainy image so it sort of gives you this unique way of expressing what you want to do so uh, for me that application called VHS camera is absolutely mind-blowing. The very next application that I want to show you guys is something called Gallery KK. Um, it's available for free in the Google Play Store, but the beauty of this application, it sort of lays out all of your camera images, your recordings from various apps, your movies, your uh, SD card information as well, into this one beautiful app that laid out really nicely. It's the same Android uh, Gallery viewer from Android K KK or KitKat. But over the years, Google has changed its photo editing app to something that's really complicated and I don't like it a lot, but I love the Gallery KK look. Try it out, let me know what you guys think. It's called Gallery KK and it's available in the Google Play Store. So we all try to manipulate our photos or try to get uh, the best image from our photos that's possible. So the next app for photo editing is called Lightroom and Snapseed. Um, I use a combination of these two. So Lightroom, it's super simple actually to use on an Android smartphone. I'm actually quite impressed how easy it is to just manipulate your photos or create uh, better photos from the picture or the crappy image that you have. And then secondly, I use Snapseed as well. Snapseed is a little weird because you, you sort of have to play around to get that image that you want and it sort of gives you more room for doing creativity or what you want from the app versus Lightroom it's a lot faster so Lightroom and Snapseed are the very next two applications and I highly recommend you download both of them they're both free you don't have to pay for any sort of subscription or anything of that sort so if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button down below and also subscribe. Uh, feel free to share this video with your friends, grandma, your puppy, 
whoever it is, um, maybe they might learn something about this video and might download some of these applications to get their productivity on and, uh, you know, have fun with their BlackBerry Priv or whatever phone they like to use. So this is an image. Uh, I did not create this image. It's actually the picture that I took from the BlackBerry Priv's camera. It's pretty awesome. But now you can see I'm using Snapseed to manipulate it to get some pretty awesome uh, looking stuff that you can see here.